Hello scientists. In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate and then test for oxygen. The equipment that you will need. We have a measuring cylinder. We have hydrogen peroxide. We've got magne manganese oxide, a conical flask, a delivery tube that you'll see comes out of the conical flask and into the water. We've got a test tube that's filled with water and upside down. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And I've got a clamp stand, but it's only because I haven't got any friends. You will be working with someone who will be able to hold that test tube. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna fill the test tube with water and you're gonna turn it upside down into this plastic uh, tub of water. So you fill it with water from the tub, you place your thumb over the end, back into the water and now the water will stay in the test tube so there's no in air in there at all very very little a tiny bubble at the top and it's filled with water and upside down and you will need to hold that test tube over the end of the delivery tube so that it can collect any gas that bubbles out of the delivery tube so we'll put that there then you will need to put two spatulas of manganese oxide into your conical flask and you will need to measure out I've measured out what have I done 40 millilitres of hydrogen peroxide into the measuring cylinder now the next bit happens fast so what you will need to do is pour the hydrogen peroxide into the conical flask and as soon as you've done that you'll see it all starts fizzing Person number two has got to quickly whoop the bung into the conical flask and make sure that the delivery tube is directly underneath the test tube so any gas given off can be collected. Okay, here we go. So, hydrogen peroxide into conical flask, you see it fizzes quickly, and then we collect the gas. And you'll see that the test tube fills with that gas very rapidly. So in fact, all of the water has now been displaced and there's just gas in this test tube. So the next step is to try and see if the gas that's been given off is oxygen. And there is a classic test for oxygen. You need a splint that's been lit, but then recently blown out. So I've got my lit splint, I've got my test tube with oxygen in, which I will hold upside down so as not to let any of the gas escape. I blow this out and I put it into the test tube and it should relight. If it relights, that tells you there is oxygen in the test tube. If it doesn't, it's not. Okay. Now it is your turn, scientists. Off you go.